Time once again for the Law and You, featuring attorneys Greg Fellerman and Molly Clark, who is here for Ed Saramboli. Ed's still enjoying a couple of days away from the Law and You, but Molly, it's great to have you here. Greg, always good to see you. Thank where's, you. It's like, where's Waldo? Where's Eddie? Everyone's looking for Eddie. He'll be back. Someday. <laughs> He'll be back. Someday. All right, in the meantime, Molly's doing a great job, and we have another question tonight. And we're going to get help for Al in Nasir, Bradford County. Al says, last week I slipped on a piece of fruit at the supermarket and injured my back. The supermarket said it will pay my medical bills, but my back is really hurting, and I've already missed five days of work. Do I have a case against the supermarket? So should Al pursue something against the market based on what he said? Uh, based on what, what you're saying, Al, I think you probably should pursue a case against the supermarket. Uh, the supermarket has a duty to keep uh, it safe and for its uh, customers and for people such as yourself. And if they, if they fail to do that and they leave uh, you know, water or some type of item that's spilled in the, in the aisle and you slip and fall on it, then you do have a right to pursue a claim against them. And, and with these cases, they are tough because there's a, there's a notice, notice requirement that the supermarket basically has to comply with so what that means is boy this is a tough one but they're given a reasonable amount of time to find food water on their floors because they're not ex expected to have exceptional dil diligence like every two seconds they're looking so what you have to look at is the sweep logs the maintenance logs um, the condition of the piece of fruit that that was there because sometimes if it's brown and decayed that would show a delay so in these situations you really want to document take pictures you know, they sometimes look at the water content, like if you're in a bathroom, you slip and fall, was there footprints in the water? All of these things are defenses to the supermarket because it's not a perfect, you know, they, they don't have to keep the store perfect, it has to be reasonably safe based upon the circumstances that they're encountering on a day, when you're in a store. So it's, and again, a little more facts would be helpful, but there's some of the hurdles you, you handle in these cases. Well, I'd imagine this is where an attorney would come in hand here because you've got a lot of research, a lot of evidence you have to compile. So our viewers that want to talk to you, how can they do that? Give us a call because these cases are complicated. 570-714-HURT. You can see us on the web, 714hurt.com. And the more investigation you get because videos, all those things are very important. Stores have them. And the sooner you act, the better. And social media, Molly? Yes, Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter. All right, we don't want uh, to forget any way you can get in touch with Fellerman and Sarah and Bully. Results matter with attorneys Greg Fellerman and Molly Clark. Thanks for being here. Thank, Thank you. Don't forget, PAHomepage.com and the Law and You Hotline are always open.